Hello, it's Justin here from Bullet Tracing. Tonight I'd like to go through editing fuel maps in the Bullet Tracing Tune software. So I've just opened up the Bullet Tracing Tune software from the link on the desktop and I'm going to create a new Suzuki GSX R1000 bin file. On the main form there's a button for fuel maps. When you click on this it opens up the fuel map editor. Across the top are some controls which allow you to edit the fuel map. So the first step is to select the range of cells that you'd like to edit and you can add and subtract a percentage to these cells. So if you click the add button a percentage will be added to the cells and if you select another series of cells and click the subtract button a percentage will be removed from the fuel, fuel map. You can see the percentage change here at the top. You can control how much that percentage is by entering a value into this control here. So if I put an 8 in that and then click the add button that's going to add 8% to those cells. The other way that you can add or subtract fuel to the fuel map is to select a range of cells and then use the number keys from 1 to 0. So if I select these cells and I press the 9 key we'll see that 9% has been added to these cells. If you select another range of cells and press the control key while pressing a number key, so I'm pressing control and N, uh, nine, control and 9, we'll see that 9% has been subtracted from this section of the fuel map. You can also uh, use the plus and minus keys to for fine grain control. So if you select a range of cells and use the plus key, you'll just add one to each of these cells at a time. And if you press the minus key, you subtract one at a time. The final way that you can edit a range of cells is by selecting the range of cells and then pressing the control S key. This pops up a dialog window where you can enter a value in and the, the software will add that same value across all of the selected cells. So I entered 1500 so all those selected cells are now 1500. At the top we also have some copy and paste buttons which allow you to select a range of cells, press the copy button, put the cursor where you want to paste those cells and press paste and they're pasted in. Also the standard windows uh, copy paste controls work so if we were to choose a range of cells press control and C at the same time move the cursor to where we'd like to paste and press the control V button we can see that those cells are pasted into the fuel map the next row of controls give you access to the various maps that are available in the bin file. The first one is to select between IAP and TPS maps. The IAP map is a pressure differential map which uses the column headers. The values up here are the, the difference between the manifold pressure and atmospheric pressure. So when you're at idle the ECU is using values in this range up here where there's a big pressure differential between the manifold and atmospheric as you progressively open the throttle it starts to use values in IAP fuel map around this range so as the throttle is open the pressure differential between the manifold and atmospheric reduces so you use this end of the fuel map when the throttle reaches around about 10 percent the ECU switches over to using the TPS fuel map so the values above 10 percent are used within this uh, map the column headers at the top are percentage of throttle open, so they range from 1.1 all the way up to 100% throttle open. And in the TPS map, all of the same map editing features apply. The next control is for choosing between map select. Uh, various ECUs have uh, the map select function. What this is, is a complete set of uh, different maps which is available by either grounding or not grounding a pin on the ECU. So the fuel editor window gives you access to editing both of those so that you can have uh, selectable fuel maps. The next control over is for selecting between the map modes. Uh, for this bin file being the 2008 GSXR 1000, it has map modes, modes A, B and C so you can edit the fuel maps for each of those modes. The next control over is for displaying either the neutral or the gear group maps and the next control over again is for gaining access to each of the individual cylinder maps so there's a, an individual fuel map for each of the cylinders. 
you can simplify the fuel map editing process by unifying the the fuel maps and you can unify both the cylinder fuel maps as well as the group fuel maps there is another video available where I go through how to do this uh, so it's probably a good idea to, to have a look at that the next button is to display the 3D graph of the fuel map so when you click on that you get a nice visual display of the, the graph uh, of the fuel map you can press the, the 3D graph button again to switch between the, the grid view and the, uh, the 3D graph if you go to settings you can also control the form layout so the default is stacked which we just saw if we choose horizontal and come back in here you can see that the grid is displayed on the left and the 3D graph is displayed on the right the other setting is for a vertical separation which puts the, the grid at the top and the graph at the bottom once again to to make editing the the fuel maps simpler I suggest you take a look at the file bin file configuration and this is where you'll find the map unification settings